Hey, I want to try to keep this video a little bit short here. I want to show you a little contraption that I built that would be actually quite easy to build. Basically what it is, is you take a little tea candle here, poke it down under, of course lit. It's going to heat up what is called a Peltier disc, and it's going to light this LED. And this thing's going to shine, as long as that candle's lit, out 360 degrees, over eight times brighter than that candle. If you were to look from the top, you're going to see shining up is just unreal. It's like 90 times brighter. So I want to throw this video on just showing real quick what I did. If somebody's interested, which hopefully you are, check out in the description below for the full length video on explaining about the Peltier disc, how you get the LED to light in the entire build. And I can't believe there isn't more of this out there. Components of it are basically a quarter inch threaded rod, a metal plate, and this here is just, let me unhook it, just a regular cheap spring from the hardware store, actually two of them. This is an old heat sink from a computer, and you can buy them on eBay for little to nothing, but that pel Peltier disc is underneath, and that's a 40 by 40 millimeter, it's 12 volt. Like I said, the other video I'll show you exactly what that does and, and show the uses of it, but not this one. This is just for this. There's really not much to it. Negative and positive wire going up into an LED, and then I built the little spinner on top to reflect the LED light back down. And that's it. And I'm telling you, that candle will light the living hell out of that LED. You're going to get your candle light, then eight times that candle light coming off there, for the entire length of this little tea candle. The LED, better yet, and no moving parts and will last as many candles as you can feed it. Slide it under, watch what happens. I'm gonna shut all the lights off. Now my other video, I measured the lux and everything on this, but I'm telling you, this candle at seven inches is giving out 3.2 lux. That LED is giving out over eight times as much. I suggest just click on that other link below, watch the entire build. I'm gonna swing this little cap away that I made. We're gonna look straight down in on it. Look at that shit. Look at it bouncing off the ceiling. That's lighting this room up. I'm gonna pull the light away from the candle. There's just candle light. Now here's with the Peltier disc. Look at that stupid thing. Look how bright it is. You could read books by it. You could read a book two feet away from this thing easily. Just a candle, Amish spotlight. Just the candle. And a Peltier disc. Just the candle and a Peltier disc. How romantic. Literally, you can see my entire room eight feet away. All my junk, flashlights and all. Now before I end the video, I'm going to try to pop this thing apart and just see what's inside it. Ooh. Well, this one ain't going to work again, that's for sure. Hear it popping? But that's alright. Ow! Huh. Not sure what that metal is in there. All I could tell on Wikipedia is it says it's a semiconductor. That's about it. Well, there's two different unique semiconductors. One P and one N, given at uh, different electron densities. And... Count it up, 254 of them are in there. They're basically a N, P, N, P, N, P, N, P. And that's what uh, ultimately ends up giving it the uh, ability to produce electricity. Yes, maybe like a solar cell on steroids. Pretty neat. Or you could just go out and 
Perch yourself a Ace Beam K70. Get it over with. So there you go. Turning 3 Lux into 30 Lux. Check that video out down below for the full build. Goodbye. <laughs>